Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have... Uh, been watching my videos for a while I have not already please drop a line I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe and just good uplift you know hey go ahead and share the video I would love you know for it to impact somebody else as well so with that being said I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video and the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101 Hey Okas the uh, Libra Full Moon Truth Taylor revealing what was waiting to be acknowledged y'all <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a Macaulay Culkin moment um, anybody ever seen Home Alone the first one with Joe Pesci and that other guy and I thought I was just gonna have to do this with anybody whose vibration was just like really friction with me it was like even the days leading on to that I'm like where is this coming from you know because it was like so uplifting and you know every, I don't know what it is when it comes to us um, when it comes to the full moon and all these got daggone portals and stuff that's opening, you know, it can really make us go buck wild. You know, you lose sleep and it could be if you're going through something, you know, you, you, it, everything is heavy and it's already heavy on an everyday basis. But it was just going on different things where you can see it. But it is like after that, it was like aha moments. You know, we were already going through, through that as well. And it was just like, you know, waiting for you to reveal it. You know, you've been going through so many things for so long, you know, and especially for the last two, three years, it's really been hitting heavy for a lot of people. You know, you're releasing a lot of things, you know, um, universe is like kind of like reared your path and, and redirected it toward, you know, away from people that you have, uh, you know, really cared about. It could be family or people who've been in your life for a long time. You know, um, relationships is just not clicking in all forms. Uh, you're purging out a lot. You're clearing. But then it's just like when, you know, um, I, I did a video that um, is uploading now is called uh, spiritual maturity you know uh, you're going through uh, toxic freedom you can basically see everything is for you you know a lot of times you can have loathing you know disgust for certain people and you know and this usually you know anytime I when I start doing a video or even when I speak to myself you know when I'm going through you know different things and it shows me where you know when I'm speaking the universe or I'm sp speaking a spirit or you know I'm a family member that has passed on is really you know really tight with me and I'm like Roz you know what's you know come on talk to me now you ain't got to say what's wrong with me because they already know and you know it's just a blessing when you can just you know speak freely to them that way and um it, it just shows you it's like different things that you may have gone through where it, it could be people that you really just detest you know you're you're you know you're going through a uh, massive clearing and it's just a lot of times where you even your own old vibration is will irritate the mess out of you like why are you like that <laughs> why are you keep doing it and you know you got so many good things going on for you but yet you allow one little thing will, will come up to the surface and it will take you backwards but then it, it's like when when these things are coming up it's telling you hey it's time to let this go you know are you seeing the lessons that you have learned through these situations through these chapters of your life that frequency because it's changing constantly you know when you're allowing your yourself to really go through it and you know you being open to the universe like hey I want this 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 that and the third you know um I'm really just ready for that new vibration to come in you know and just be open to whatever universe has given me and it was just like between Easter you know and the, the Libra full moon it was like uh my sister love uh, uh, uh Trezusis Tre Trezusis Zeus I, 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 I apologize if I mess your name up she was talking about it and now she had dropped the uh a uh, comment to me and it was about the video when I was talking about toxic baggage that you're dropping off with yourself as well as other people and I mean it just got you to that point where enough is enough I'm tired I'm gonna read the hell out of you if you don't stop or I'm just gonna smack you in the middle of uh, the next parallel in it you know parallel universe you know and it was like that and it's just like why am I feeling so like your warrior defenses was just like I'm not, I ain't got time 
No, you know, I really don't have time. I, I'm trying to deal with my own baggage and I'm trying to let that mess go. I'm not, you know, I'm trying to climb up this mountain. I ain't trying to hold on to it and have that mess on my back and run right along with your little crazy mess you got going on. I'm not going to have that. But then when it, when it, when it cleared, it was just, it was telling you, you know, these things are coming to the surface. It's at that point where your, your energy for love of self is really, really strengthening to where you're, you're seeing different things that you cannot keep entertaining. You have entertained so many different things. Maybe if you've gone through, you know, uh, toxic behaviors within yourself, collecting it with, with your surroundings, with people that you, you know, you have dated or people that you're this in your family or people around your school or around your job, all these different things. And it's showing you appreciate them. For everything they have done. Appreciate them for everything they have done. And appreciate yourself. You had to go through these things. It was showing you. You know, I always say, you know, and even you may uh, think about that as well. That um, trauma will tend to relocate you and re reset you. And, you know, reroute you right back to yourself on something that you really, truly need to acknowledge about yourself. It was really waiting for that. And it was just like going through those emotional uh you know, emotional purges is like, you know, you're crying because the fact is, you know, it took all this to be able to show me what I was missing within myself. You know, I had to be able to go through this because it's easy to go back and say, oh, this person's getting on my nerves or why don't they do this? Why don't they do that? Why did I allow myself to this, 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 and this, and that? And it, it, it will be a ripple effect of you, you staying in that old vibration because it's like, you know, like I've said before, it, it, it can feel like us against the world. And with everything that's going on in the world, it, it can feel like that. But it's just like right now, your main focus in for you to be able to help change the world, you're changing that within yourself. And that mess is not easy. When you are on that vibration of really healing within yourself, that is, uh, uh, you know, you're going through it. You really are going through it. And there's, you know, like I said, there's there's a few type of different people. There's, you know, when you're getting frustrated with yourself and say, you know what, there has to be change in my life. You know, I'm not liking what I'm becoming. I don't I don't like the vibration I'm allowing myself to really connect with. This is not nurturing to my soul. You know, um I'm I'm tired of being around different vibrations. It's no longer, you know, uh satisfying to me. It's not fulfilling my needs. You know, or I feel like I'm I've worn out my welcome to this stage in my life or this situation of my life. And that's when it's showing you, hey, it's showing up for you. Like that door is always open for you to step into that new vibration with yourself. You know, you have so many things in store. This wanting for you to be able to have that. We, you're deserving of this. You're wanting this. You're needing this. And these are the things that, you know, whatever you're facing in your life, they, it can be very, you know, it's humbling you. You know, it's really humbling you in so many different stages. And you can get very irritated. Um, especially if, you know, you're putting in the work and stuff like that. And it just feels like things are not moving the way it is. And you have to understand. And also I'm dropping some tea now. I'm dropping some tea. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You know, and the, you know, and this universe is like, trust the process, trust the process. You know, it made me feel like damn Kermit the Frog when it is that on. And you know, drinking this tea, like, mm, just trust the process. Even though it can be very irritating, but it's just at the same time, you know, you, the universal, you know, vibration is say, get excited. You don't know what this is turning you into. If you know you're putting in the work, you know that you you know you're showing gratitude first thing you do when in the morning. And even then, if things didn't turn out right the day before, you're allowing yourself to say, "I'm a I'm gonna take charge." You know, if it's if it's out of my control, allow myself to just move with it, just flow with it. And that's what you know the Libra Moon was really telling you is revealing so much about yourself, so much about what's uh, taking place in your life, telling you to trust the process. You know, allowing yourself to stop, you know, uh, controlling everything. You know, because we'll be like, we'll be trying to rig stuff up. Like, well, maybe if I, you can't manipulate universe, you can't manipulate God. You can be able to do that with the next person next to you. Maybe, you know, but the universe will be like, come on now, make it make sense. You cannot sit up here. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. You cannot manipulate me. You can't, you can't manipulate us. Just enjoy what is going on. If you know you're opening up that process of being that new you and you're allowing yourself to be corrected in, in every kind of criticism possible. And it can be sometimes frustrating, especially, you know, if you've been in a frequency for so long, it, it, it can be, it's a big adjustment, a big adjustment. 
of bringing in that new person within you, you know. But universe is proud of you. It, you know, all your all your ancestors, the tribe, you know, our, our soul collectives and stuff like that, our tribal collectives are rooting for us. Because it's just the fact this is your season. This is your season on whatever universe has for you. And when you're allowing yourself to purge out the old, all type of stuff going to come up to you. All kind of stuff. You have to know, you know, anytime, like I said, when I start doing these videos and stuff like that, so many different posts will come up. When you're allowing yourself to go through that healing, there is just going to disturb a lot of vibrations. It, it is, especially the ones that's just not wanting to. You have to understand, expect that. Expect the unexpected, you know, um, and be prepared for it, you know, when you're doing that. But this is just like, this is showing you, look at the brighter side of it, you know, um, it's showing you even all obstacles you're, you're going through and you're facing, they know it's not easy. They know it'll be some days you want to just give up. You just want to whitewash everything. Just like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm done. Uh, you know, I've tried it. I've did this. I've been doing what y'all been telling me for the next day, but I'm tired of all these challenges. And it's just like, they know that. We're in human, we're in human form. Okay. <laughs> they know. You get tired of that. They they know there, there'll be big moments. Moments of you um, on the verge of just giving up because it, it's becoming too much. And that's what the enemy wants you to do. That's where that is. That's where that manipulation will come in. Where it gets really heavy. Like we see you doing the work, but has anything really changed yet? And this is going to be your life. You know, it'll be like this is going to be your life. And it's like, no, the devil is a lie. He's a whole lie. I'm not listening to you. And that's where you have to be able to, you know, get assertive with yourself. You know, it's hard doing that. But it's even harder to stay stuck in a situation you don't want your welcome at, boo-boo. And they're really trying to tell you that. And it's just like, the, it's Libra in that moon was really dropping tea. You know, and that mess is switching up. It's really switching up. And there'll be days you're humble. There'll be days that you're not allowing yourself to take things personal. But I notice, I notice when you're going through that change. And it, when it comes to those full moons, the new moon, the, the flip-flop moon, the bipolar moon, all those different things. That moon be telling, I, I'm telling you, it feel like bipolar energy. <laughs> it do. Bipolar energy. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's just like, it's waiting for you to acknowledge that. You know, because it'll be different things you're going through, and it's just like oh, I'm so tired of certain such and such and such, and I'm I'm tired of this and I'm that tired of that. But then it's showing you, you needed that person. It, it could be toxic. It could be the most gutter butt thing that the energy that they you know they really wear well, you know, and it's just like you needed that person. You know, you have to be grateful for that person. It's just like. When there'll be days that I was ready to box, like I tell people, I'm about that life. I don't care. And you know, men, female, big, tall, happy, small. I don't care. You know, I was at that. I had that vibration where people used to laugh at me. I said I'm at that point where things is getting aggressive in all forms. Okay, toddlers, we want to really want to check with you. I'm like, you want that smoke? You know, even your animals. It's like, especially with the animals, is going. My my um my bingo, uh female cat i love her to death you know she you know she that's my my kindred spirit you know she was from um it was the hurricane hurricane either hurricane Irma, i think it was hurricane Irma because her name is Irma. you know um she was in a hurricane so it was like raining and stuff like that so universe is already clearing through that because i noticed that a lot of times you know especially when you're going through a lot of things you'll notice that even you know especially if you want them intuitive like you you can't funk with that kind of empath, you, I mean, your moods will even change the weather. You know, the moods will even change the weather. And it was like, well, her, you know, anytime it thunderstorms, and it gets really bad over here in Georgia like that. And it was raining, you know, it's still kind of raining. Because usually I'm in, you know, I'm, I'm Netflix and chill and Tubi and chill. You know, and put my blankets on, curl up with her, and we be watching movies all day. And it was like, even, you know, last night I was trying to watch it. You know, movies and stuff like that. And, you know... A lot of the ones that I've been watching is very, you know, uh, informative and stuff like that. You know, even on YouTube. And it was just like, eh, I want to watch a horror movie. And it was like, my soul was like, mm -mm, you got some stuff to do, girl. You know, so I'm here and here's the universe. Like, girl, you got stuff to do. Don't be watching that. We got some other stuff to do. Maybe later. You know, and stuff like that. And then my other cat, he's a silverback. Long hair. 
And he looking at me like, you about that life, ain't you? You about to really catch that smoke. I said, I'm going to leave you and your little moody behind alone because he a little narcissistic cat. And I'm going to leave him alone because she the needy one and then she's the loving one, you know, and me and her together. And she was just like, okay, I'm touching her. And then she'll be looking at me like, I can't get both hands. I'm like, baby, look, up, look, right now I cannot chew gum and walk at the same time. I'm trying to do 20 different things and I'm still trying to pet you. But she needed all my, you know, I need you. I need both your hands. You know, maybe the top of your forehead, and if you can, if you, you, you know, you can even move like that, let me get them toes, too. You know, and I'm just like, you want the elbow? You know, and I, I, it, it was just one thing after another after another. But then when it got to that point where everything settled down, you know, and just being able to go outside, and I forgot what it says. I need to put that, that um, post up when it, it's good to go outside after it rained and when I tell you it felt so good when I say it felt so good to go outside after it rained because it's just like you're clearing everything out throughout the day or even for the last couple of days and you needed that and it was so calming but it shows you so many different things you're going with especially if you're closing out these um uh, karmic relationships you know um, in all forms and it's just like they want you to be able to see and it can be the worst of the worst the rough of the rough the toxic of the toxic the negative of the negative every relationship that you have gone through no matter what it is is showing you you needed that 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 experience in all forms you know that frequency that vibration that situation that chapter that person that season that reason because it showed you this is what you're forgetting about yourself know your worth know what you need to stop tolerating know the respect for yourself stay solid on your boundaries being able to allow yourself to mean no means no and don't be guilt tripped about it Everybody's doing what's best for them now. It's time to do what's best for you. This is time for you to step up to the plate for yourself, regardless of even even if nobody else is. Step up. Step. <laughs> like, it was like step. And these are the different things that you, you know, is really, really allowing yourself, is revealing to you in so many different ways. And, you know, and the universe is really, you know, um, wanting me to guide me towards a different venture and, and content uh, uh, videos and I'm like Lord please give me the strength no you are not having me do this again but then it's like yes we need that you know it's like you got this experience you went through it you're overcoming it and you overcome it you know you're conquering and these are the things you know there's so many different people are going through this and so many people may be lost in translation or may not even realize they're all in the same deal so you know it'll be different things that I'll be posting there'll be different chats that I'm talking about um, I try to do the chat the other day but um universe wasn't working with that so i'm like okay it, it may not have been my day you know i'd be trying to um it was probably because the fact is i was overexerting myself i was just really all over the place and said girl you are not even emotionally in that vibration you are tapped <laughs> you are tapped you know what now it's time for you to cash out and i really had to so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of that y'all um i would love to give a post notification shout out to jerry uh, Jeff Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey. I apologize, baby. I forgot your last name. Um, because we were just on chat the other day. And Tresusis. I hope that's the, your name. Um, how you pronounce it? I apologize if I butchered it. Um, welcome. I know you've been watching my videos for a while, but I I don't think you've ever um commented before. So I'm saying welcome if I have not already. If you're new to the channel, you know welcome. It's so good to have you. Please drop a line. You know I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, blah blah blah. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. And I would love to be able to, you know, have a little chitty chat with you, you know, and be able to be able to connect with you on that way. It's just being able to prod, uh, broaden your perspective. It's all about spiritual networking. That virtual vibration is very good. You know, we're all learners of, uh, you know, student, student teacher vibration experiences you know we're learning so much of, off of people we're learning so much off of each other shoot even when we interact with people and telling something to them they may not know and you end up open a whole bridge of acknowledgement towards yourself that you needed to know so this is all it is like you know you're truly getting educated through connecting with people in all forms so i love to be able to do that so um you know i never want anybody to ever feel is you know, is it can be very it can be very uncomfortable and frustrating opening up to new people. It truly and and um, it is just like is 
especially if you've been that type of person that you're not easily understood or people may be looking at you and like are you okay are you a 5150 do we need psych you know psych valve you know and stuff like that so i try you know i try my best to be able to let people know i don't judge you you know i don't judge you it's like certain things you may be shocked of when you reveal certain things to people how many people can really truly resonate with the things that you have uh been facing and currently facing and have faced so you know that's why i love doing my support chat which i will start back up again which i will start back up again you know i thought i was ready in the universe like no you ain't you know we'll fit it in but just not right now you've been doing a lot of uh different things so maybe another day so um when i do y'all know i'll post it up you know you've been with me for a while so you be used to that you know um and they're starting to have me um, add different things to the content. Like I said, I love having my platform the way I do. It's very, you know, I, I love for it to be informative, very insightful. You know, things to look for. You know, you, you're going, if, if you have gone through different toxic relationships and everything, please um, stay posted on my community page. Because, um, you know, uh, usually if you're used to me, you know, and you're scrolling up and stuff like that, you know, I put IG shorts on, you know, uh, different things that may be you know meditations that you may need just for you know a few minutes to get you throughout the day you know um different uh uplifts that you may need that kind of reminder as well as you know i wouldn't be a hey okay if i wouldn't put something out there hilarious you know i put one out there and i didn't even know oh girl and i gotta check out her her page i think her name is uh lala um uh milan she put one out, and I mean, I forgot I uploaded it from my IG and forgot to share it. She was uh, acting like she was at a funeral. She was like, bitch. She was like, oh, okay, okay. She was like, bitch, why are you sitting there and tell me you had two boyfriends and stepping up from up here talking about you the love of their life? You know, and she's like, girl, you are such a hoe. You are such a hoe. And they talk about this and this and this. And I said, you know what? If this is all about what she about, I know I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to her channel. So I had to put that out because I was just laughing. I know my, my cat said, you know, my ex and then were walking past. I was like, what the heck is she laughing at? Because that girl had some stuff out there. And I, I you talking about I almost busted a stitch laughing at her with that. But, you know, um. I, I try to put out all that stuff like that you know usually you know I put out positive stuff and then there'll be different things that you may be going through but as well as my post you know I always give uplift you know different stages you know if you're going through different tw twin flame stages and I haven't been on um, IG and looking at the twin flame um, stuff that I usually get you know and I uh, they're, they're directing me to go ahead and put that out for different people that are you know going through different changes and stuff um and different things to look out for you know when there's retrograde no retrograde flip over retrograde bipolar retrograde all those different things but now they're telling me to start putting up uh different things about you going through emotional abuse you know um how to uh identify a narcissist you know what different things to gaslight on um that that, that gaslights on when when you're you know trying to get out of survival mode of going through a so you know narcissistic abuse you know all these different things that they're telling me um that they want me to start sharing you know you've gone through that i've i've lived through it i have been exposed to it i'm healing from it you know i had narcissistic traits and probably still do some of them be hidden in the cracks in the crevice like oh narcissistic vibe gotta go work on that <laughs> it was like going through a meditation so um i will be starting to post those different things and they're guiding me towards that they brought that out and i'm like oh that's a touchy subject but it, it's just like, hey, it is what it is. When Universe directed me towards different adventures to be able to put that out, you know, I will be sharing that. I don't know if I'm going to attach Hey Oka to that. But if you know if that's something that's got it for you, you know, and it, and, and it you know, spot slides for you, hey, you know, um, go ahead and, you know, check those videos out. But also, I will be posting that. Like, hey, don't believe the hype. These are the things you're going through. And, you know, a lot of times you, you could be going through narcissistic vibrations. It's just like I was going through it for years and I used to hear the word, you know, say, say this, masochist, uh, sadomasochist, you know, um, uh, narcissist, you know, socio sociopath, psychopaths. And you used to hear it and I'm just like, okay, I don't, you know, wasn't invested in it. Like, hey, go look that up. Look at the stages. Look at the characteristics. I'm like, Damn. You know, I didn't realize I was going through this and, and, and exposed to it and didn't know I was, you know, you know, pushing that out on my kids as well. 
you know so it, it, I mean it's just a lot it's a beautiful thing that I'm healing from it giving a deeper understanding about it surviving it but also you know a ain't surviving nothing no more that's something that's overcoming I'm conquering of it and just being able to appreciate it for what it was worth you know you are a, a empath is a narcissistic night nightmare worst nightmare and that is for us as well and these are the things that you know you battling that you know you, you battling of, of, of the uh you shoot of the vibration it ain't battle of the sexes the exes but it's battle of the vibrations so um i will be start doing those now they're already starting to upload they're already been um yeah they've been already starting to upload and different things that they want me to do so i will start posting you know different posts just to get you throughout the day for you to just say hey let me go ahead and save this you know in case you really trying to um you know have that courage you're really just trying to find your way out of that vibration so um i hope you're able to resonate with that as well but um like i said i've also been putting my uh podcast up you know there's a lot of people that's telling me browsing you know welcome back we love that you know um different things that you know i had subscribers over there as well and having ex subscribers over there and they really listen to it. it's like welcome back it's been a while i'm like yeah you know but i'm glad i can be able to do that and it just really feels fun it's very exciting for me to be able to see the new part of myself that you know i was sleeping on you know and being able to do that so um i hope you're able to resonate with the content of that much love to you i will talk to you on well you'll be talking to me or listening to me on my next video as well and um if you ever feel you know generous enough you know a drop a donation is greatly appreciated i always leave the cash app there as well you know whatever um whenever this video comes out i hope you have a prosperous you know uh prosperous week you know whatever you've been working on oh it's going to be extreme you know, universe has uh, got so many different things prepared for you. Don't sleep on yourself. Stay persistent and consistent. These are the things that you definitely need in your life. Uh, you have earned that. You are deserving of that. So do not give up. You know, it can be frustrating, especially when things are just moving slow or it just seems like things aren't moving at all. Universe has really got some things. You know, you never know what universe got for you, so keep on going. And, you know, you never know. It could be right around the corner. You could uh, have the vibration of giving up today, and that's what the devil wanted. And then you never know. Just because he wanted, he played hard on you today, you end up winning tomorrow, and that's the main reason why he did that. So keep going. You know, hey, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love and light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And it will give you even extra because you took the time out just to help them go, you know, do that. And it's going to take you even further. Much love. Peace.